how, how do you feel like defense has played today? Um, you know, it, there was obviously, I guess you can say there were some positives, but at the end of the day, we had plenty of chances to, to take that game over defensively. Um, you know, we we let up some explosive plays, and that, that killed us. Um, that big slant route at the beginning of the game, and then um, that quarterback keeper, um, those are both huge plays for those guys in the first half, and, you know, those – those are what we got to eliminate as a defense. And, you know, that's not something extraordinary. Um, that's guys just being in their fits and being where they're supposed to be. And, you know, if we can eliminate some of those big plays, um, defensively we could have played a lot better. Do you get tired of this feeling? I mean, you know, you, you invest a lot every week, obviously, to feel this way kind of over and over and over. Losing? losing? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Does it make it harder to get up and do it again? You know, the, next day. You know uh, the guy that's gonna that's gonna have my respect is the guy that gets up every time he's knocked down. Um, you know, and that doesn't matter if you're 0 and 2, 2 and 0. Um, you know, it doesn't matter the circumstances. If you get knocked down, um, you got to get up. I don't care who you are, what you're doing. Um, those are the guys that that I want to ride with, and those are the guys that that, that earn respect. Do you think how important is it that you get that taste of a win back in this locker room? It's eight out of nine now, six mm. in a row. You guys have lost as a, as a program. Yeah, definitely. That's that's something we got to do. Um, we need that. We need that. Um, and you know the number one way to do that is just show up on Monday, and make sure we're in our preparation. Um, if there's, like I said, if there's a hangover from from a game like this, um, where it's a kind of a big letdown, it's just going to pile on. So uh, the number one thing that I have to do is make sure that you know guys in my position group, guys in the defense, um, you know, more holistically, the whole team is just together. Um, you know, no one's getting upset, frustrated to the point that they're not wanting to work or do their job. Um, so that's the number one thing we got to do in order to get that feeling back. Because yeah, it's it's killing me. You know, and it should it should it should be killing everyone. Um, it, and it should be just that much more motivation. How do things feel out there for you guys as opposed to last week? As opposed to last week? Yeah. Um, you know, the, the game was just played differently, I guess. They, they gave us kind of some different looks offensively than we got from Colorado. You know, similar offenses, but kind of running some different plays. Um, but yeah, it, it, we like I said, um, it, it was the explosive plays that definitely got us. Is there something helpful to Big Ten play starting next week and it's kind of that reset of 0-0? Zero, zero, no. Yeah, I mean, I suppose. Um, I guess there's, there always is that goal in mind um, that I guess you can say that. Um, but to me, you know, it's... It, it, we gotta take we gotta take the next one um, day by day. Um, the next one's the most important one. Um, each weekend should be you know like our own <laughs> Super Bowl. You know we we gotta come out and make sure that the, that we're playing hard and, and preparing harder. So. so they had the game plan to rely on you guys, defensive line, offensive line to get things done. Did you get that sense during the week, and you guys think you lived up to that? Yeah, you know uh, I could definitely see that um, being an emphasis, and that's always the emphasis. Uh, games are won and lost in the trenches. Um, so you know. We, like I said, did some good things here and there, but overall, there were some mistakes that you know we made in the front seven um, defensively that that created some big plays, and you know that's on us. You make uh, obviously a whole bunch of things you can point to about the uh, uh, loss, but that stretch of the three third down conversions, the third and nine, third and nine, third and nine, that had to be yeah, in the yeah. We we gotta get off the field on third down. That's an emphasis, and that's something we. We, we try to emulate in practice. Um, we have third down periods, uh, situations like that, where the number one thing you got to do is get off the field, um, especially in those those third and longs where there's a pretty low percentage of them converting. So that's that's what we got to keep hammering for sure. I would assume you'd have to continue to be aggressive and yet not throw off flags. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, you know, we got to be more disciplined all around. Um, guys can be as aggressive as they want, but your aggression has to be taken out in the correct way. Um, you know, you can't be going after opponents or, or getting, you know, personal fouls because those are killers. Uh, 15 yards, automatic first down, no matter what the situation is. So, you know, we got to make sure that, that uh, you know, guys are intense, guys are going hard, but it's within the guise of the rules and, and within the whistles. Were you on the field for that drive with all the third down? Um, you know, I, I probably was. Yeah, we, I mean, we rotate so much that you know. Um, yeah, I think I was on there for some of that. Um, Do you feel like you're getting as a, in a rhythm as a player and getting enough opportunities to get all your you know, feel like you're in it? Or is yeah, it, that's 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 part of it. Um, especially when we rotate that much, is I was trying to tell the guys, you got to make sure you're in it. Um, mentally, um, as much as you can be. If you're not on the field, there might be stretches where you're not going to be on the field for for quite some time. So you have to be, you know, pretty invested in what's going on. And if you see something that 
that happens while the other guy's got his hand in the dirt that you can communicate to him or he sees something on the field that you couldn't see from the sideline. It's got to be that kind of symbiotic communication, um, absolutely. Um, and that's the way we have to play defensively, on, especially on the D-line. We're going to have to rotate a lot of bodies. So, um, you know, Coach Dawson formulates all that, who takes what amount of plays and everything like that. And, you know, we trust him and, and kind of trust that process. Troy, Troy's, I mean, people said that one of their strengths is the O-line. Is that the way you – I mean, after that game, how do you feel about that assessment? Yeah, I mean, they were they – were, they're a big physical physical group, um, for sure. Yeah, I think I think uh, they had a, uh, I think it was two third team Sun Belt guys and one second team All Sun Belt guys, um, the two guards in the center. So yeah, that was that was definitely a strength going into the game, and that's something we we focused on kind of throughout the week.